I'm at Reboot Arcade in downtown Dunedin, where customers can have a drink in one hand and a joystick in the other. George, Antel, and Courtney run this community hotspot. Reboot is their brainchild, a combination of his love for gaming and her appreciation for fine atmosphere. My wife and I decided to open up Reboot about three years ago. Uh, actually, the first day we signed the lease to this location, we found out my wife was pregnant. So we had to kind of figure out if we were still going to go through with it. And we decided to do it. It was a pretty busy year. George practically grew up with a controller in hand. But when it came time to open his own arcade, he wanted to do something different. Just like when people go to a sports bar, they're sitting there eating and drinking and they, they're looking at something. And I, I love sports, but I'm like, well, what if instead of sports, it could, they could watch other people play video games, or they could watch a Twitch stream, or you know, you could be there with your girlfriend or boyfriend, you could play Mario Kart. Now that I've got a drink and something to eat, it's time to play some games. The couple traveled all over the country to curate the unique collection of pinball machines and retro arcade games. We actually drove all the way to Boston during a pandemic to pick up a Rick and Morty pinball machine and drove it all the way back in one sitting, and it was exhausting. <laughs> Want to play Avengers Pinball? How about Guns N' Roses? There's Pac-Man, Mortal Kombat, Dungeons & Dragons, not to mention all the console games available. I think we have five Xbox Ones, five PlayStation 4s, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X, and then we have um, classic consoles, and over there we have a Nintendo, a Super Nintendo, an N64, I think a Sega Genesis, a Dreamcast. For a break, you can make your way to the outdoor patio, which the Courtney's share with their neighbors at Jack Polino's Pizza. In the future, they hope that this space can look like a Donkey Kong themed treehouse. They're planning on opening a second location in Safety Harbor sometime soon. For George and Helen, the investment is worth it, just to see the joy on people's faces. When people come in, we wanted them to feel like, you know what, if I had a bad day, I'd come in here and reboot my day and kind of create like a, a almost like a mental fantasy of just getting away from everything for a little while. And uh, it's been really fun. The video games, to me, are just built into my DNA. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Victoria Crosdale.